Hi guys, I'm coming to you with a nail tutorial. This will be my very first one. I tried doing the animated nail. Um, it's my very first time. I'm not incredibly happy with how I've done it. Um, the finish isn't as matte, I guess, as I would like it to be. But... I'm just going to show you on one nail. Hopefully, I can show you. I'm using my phone to make this video. I have just got it propped up, so hopefully it doesn't fall over and, like, make a huge mess. So I just did one coat. I'm a little bit shaky. It's been so long since I've done my nails. I'm trying to get back into it. I'm supposed to start this fall my nail tech classes at the local college. And I used to dabble in it somewhat as a teenager. I'll go ahead and put some on this. What I'm using is, I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of washed out, but it's Estee Lauder Perfect Finish Nail Lacquer. And it doesn't have a name, but it's real pink. I'd say probably what would make this best is if I had a clear coat, one of the matte clear coats. That would probably help a lot. Your edges don't have to be perfect because you're going to outline them with a striper or just regular black polish if you're good enough to make a line. And I'm running out of polish, so I've had to dip like 15 times. I hope I'm in frame. I'm really concentrating so hard I didn't even realize. This stuff dries pretty quick so I don't have to wait a whole long time. But what I'm going to do is take my black striper here. This is Salon Perfect. I got it at Walmart. It was like $1.50. And it's just plain black, you know. I just started using these, so I'm not perfect. Bear with me. Hopefully, I'll get a new camera, get some more stuff. What I'm just going to do is outline my nail. Oops. Like I said, I'm not perfect. But I'm sure you get the general genuine idea, genuine. Wow. I'm not real big into animated cartoons or anything like that, but I thought these were pretty cute. I saw them on YouTube. Somebody posted it. And I couldn't tell you for the life of me who it was. I'm just doing this on my natural nails. Um, I'm going to start doing tutorials and stuff on acrylics. As soon as I get all my stuff in, I ordered a bunch of stuff from Maytheps or May the PS, however you want to say that. Um, I've seen a bunch of good stuff about them. And I'll tell you what, I got online and I ordered. And, um,. Their prices were awesome. I ordered like eighty dollars worth of stuff and got I don't know four hundred items maybe. Um, it was really good. I can't wait. I got like two kits: acrylic kits, nail art kits, um, just tons. Anything you would ever need to do acrylic nails. 
that's how I am quite the shadow like I have a real square nail beds, so I try to round it. And I'm propped up in my bed because my ch child is asleep and my husband's trying to sleep. And this is my only quiet time, which I'm sure most of you ladies can understand where I'm coming from. Oh, great. <laughs> I'll fix that later. And what's really going to look funny is I really cannot paint with my left hand. So I'm taking a bit right now that I'm only going to do my paint my left hand and probably just do a just one color on my right hand without any designs. My husband probably thinks I'm going crazy. I'm in here talking to myself. Sitting here thinking right now how in the world I'm going to fix that little mess up I did. I don't know if you can see it. A little stripe right there. I don't know. And there's a real rounded, like, the C curve. I got a real deep C curve. And so I kind of bring the black out on the sides a little bit further. Because from the front, if I don't, you can't see it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is take my white striper. Again, it's just Salon Perfect from my Walmart. And I don't know if you can see right here, but it's kind of like a highlight. It almost looks it almost looks like it's the shine from a lot of my camera, but really I just took the white striper. And you can use a daughter or a toothpick or a hairpan or whatever you use. And I did a little line. Um, I just chose the left hand side right where the nail curves and I did kind of like an upside down exclamation point I hope you can see that as soon as I can afford one I'm going to run out and grab me a camera I had a YouTube account a long time ago when YouTube first started getting popular and I am, like, technologically challenged. I'm just, you know, plain old country bumpkin. And, um, I told myself I was going to try to get into it. Seems like a lot of fun. But there you go. There you have them. Like I said, it would look a lot better if your bottom polish, your colored polish, was had a real matte finish. Mine does not, as you can tell, but maybe I'll run out tomorrow and grab some matte top coat. Anyways, hope you like that tutorial. I know it's kind of long. I talk a lot. But I'm going to figure out how to edit, and I'll put some more up. Have a good one.